Ramadan Ramadan is the month of blessings and forgiveness Ramadan is the month of blessings and forgiveness Ramadan Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin was salatu was salam ala sayyidil anbiya wal mursalin Amma ba'd fa'a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله Dear viewers of Madani Channel You are watching the first episode of our series The Virtues of Ramadan Before starting this episode Let's listen to an excellence of reciting Salat al-Nabi Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam The Prophet of Rahmah, the intercessor of Ummah, the owner of Jannah Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has stated Indeed, the one who recites durood upon me the most will be the closest to me on the day of judgment Subhanallah Azza wa Jal Sallu ala al-Habib Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam Dear viewers of Madani channel Before listening to this episode Let's make a few good intentions So that we gain reward while listening to this episode I will speak and you will listen To gain the pleasure of Allah azza wa jal Dear viewers also make the intention To listen to this episode till the very end And to act upon the knowledge that you gain And to share the knowledge with your friends and family after this episode. Today we'll hear a little about the blessings of Ramadan and we'll also hear about our Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani also known as Ghose Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala because first Ramadan is the birthday of our Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Dear viewers of Madani channel, it is a great bounty of Allah Azza wa Jal that He Azza wa Jal has granted us a tremendous gift in the form of Ramadan whose every moment is full of mercy. The reward of good deeds is multiplied in this month. The reward of a nafil act is equivalent to that of a fard one, while the reward of a fard act is multiplied 70 times. In this month, the, even the sleep of a fasting person is considered an act of worship. The divine arsh-holding angels say Amin on the dua of the fasting person. According to a hadith, the fish in the sea asks for forgiveness until iftar for the one who fasts in Ramadan. Dear viewers, fast is a hidden form of worship. No one can come to know about your fast until you tell them. Allah Azza wa Jal likes hidden worship more. According to a blessed hadith, it says that fasting is the door of worship. Dear viewers of Madani channel, the blessed of month of Ramadan is also mentioned in the Holy Quran. Ramadan is a blessed and sacred month in which Allah Azza wa Jal revealed the Holy Quran. He Azza wa Jal mentions the revelation of the Holy Quran and Ramadan in these words. Translation of Quran, Kanzul Iman. The month of Ramadan in which was sent down the Quran, the guidance for mankind, the direction and the clear criteria to judge between the right and wrong. So whoever among you finds this month, must fast for the whole month, and whoever is sick or on a journey may fast the same number in other days. Allah Azza wa Jal desires ease for you and does not desire hardship for you, so that you may complete the count of fasts and glorify Allah's greatness for having guided you so that you may be grateful. Regarding the first verse, the renowned commentator of the Holy Quran, Mufti Ahmad Yarkhan rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi, has stated in his tafsir that like Rahman, Ramadan is probably one of the names of Allah Azza wa Jal because he is worshipped in the whole day and night in this month. Therefore, this month is called Ramadan. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Madani Channel, Let's listen to the reason behind the name Ramadan. Mufti Ahmad Yar Khan rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi has stated that some commentators rahimahullah ta'ala have said that different names were given to different months in relation to their seasons. For instance, 
The month that fell during summer was called Ramadan. The month that fell during the spring season was called Rabiul Awal. And the one that fell while water was freezing was called Jamad al Ula. Sallu ala al Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Madani channel, listen to this narration carefully. Sayyidina Abu Sayyid Khudri radiallahu ta'ala anhu has narrated that the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has said, On the first night of Ramadan, the portals of the skies and the paradise are opened, which remain open until the very last night of the month. So if anyone offers salah in any night of this month, Allah Azza wa Jal will reward him with 1500 virtues for every sajda and make a palace of red rubies for him that will have 60,000 gates. The gates will have hinges of gold that will be embroidered with red rubies. Thus, the one who fasts on the first day of Ramadan will be forgiven for his sins until the last day of the month and 70,000 angels will seek forgiveness from morning till evening. Each time he prostrates during the day or at night, he will be granted a tree in heaven and each tree is so huge that a horse rider can ride under its shadow for 500 years. Dear viewers of Madani channel, Subhanallah Azza wa Jal, what an enormous favor Allah Azza wa Jal has bestowed upon us in the form of the blessed month of Ramadan. It is the month in which all the portals of heaven are opened and the reward for good deeds is increased. According to the foregoing hadith, the one who offers salah in any one of the nights of Ramadan will be granted the reward of 1500 good deeds for every sajda that he performs. Further, there will be this great heavenly palace for him. This blessed hadith also contains glad tidings that 70,000 angels will make dua for forgiveness for the fasting Muslims from morning till evening. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal. Sallu ala al Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Madani channel, Sayyidina Jabir bin Abdullah radiallahu ta'ala anhu has narrated that the beloved and blessed Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has stated in Ramadan, my ummah has been gifted such five things which were not given to any other prophet before me. Let's listen to those five things. Number one, on the first night of Ramadan, Allah Azza wa Jal showers special mercy upon them. And the one whom upon Allah Azza wa Jal showers special mercy will never be punished. Number two, in the evening, Allah Azza wa Jal likes the smell emanating from the mouths of fasting people. And he likes it even more than mushk. Number three, angels pray for forgiveness every night and day. Number four, Allah Azza wa orders heaven to be adorned for his righteous people and says, soon they will get rid of the grief of the world and find solace in my house and my bounties. Number five, on the last night of Ramadan, Allah Azza wa forgives them all. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal. Standing up, a person asked, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, is that Laylatul Qadr? He sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam replied, No, do you not see that the laborer is given his wage when he finishes his job? Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Madani channel, Sayyidina Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu has narrated that the Prophet of Rahmah, the intercessor of Ummah, the owner of Jannah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has stated the five daily salah and salatul jumu'ah compensate for sins till the next Friday and Ramadan compensates for sins until the next Ramadan provided that the major sins are avoided. 
سبحان الله عز وجل صلوا على الحبيب صلى الله تعالى على محمد صلى الله تعالى عليه وآله وسلم Dear viewers of Madani channel Ramadan is the month of repentance Let's hear a little how to repent and what the stages of repentance are Ramadan is such a blessed month in which rain of mercy showers upon us and it is a means of our minor sins being forgiven Major of sins are forgiven by repentance. The way to repent is to mention the sin one has committed and then feel resentment for it in one's heart and firmly vow not to commit it again. Let us say, for instance, that someone lied. He should say, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, I repent of the lie that I have told and I will not tell lies again. Whilst repenting, he must despise the sin and be sincere in the words that he says, I will not tell lies again, for instance. Otherwise, his repentance will not be valid. If the right of another person was violated, then it is necessary to seek forgiveness from him in addition to the repentance. Sallu ala al Habib, Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, Tubu ila Allah, Astaghfirullah. Sallu ala al Habib, Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Madani channel, Books of a Hadith are full of virtues of Ramadan. There are so many bounties and blessings in this blessed month. The Holy Prophet Sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam even said that if my Ummah had known what Ramadan is, they would wish if only Ramadan had remained the whole year. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal. Dear viewers of Madani channel, let's listen to a heartwarming saying of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alayhi Wa Alihi Wa Sallam. Sayyidina Salman Farsi Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhu has narrated that on the last day of Sha'ban, the Prophet of Rahmah, the intercessor of Ummah, the owner of Jannah, Sallallahu Ta'ala Alayhi Wa Alihi Wa Sallam said, O people, a blessed month has approached you. In this month, there is a night that is better than a thousand months. Allah Azza wa Jal has made it farz upon you to fast in this blessed month. To offer Taravi Salah in the nights is Sunnah. If you do a good deed in this month, it will be equivalent to carrying out a fard act in any other month. And if you perform a fard act in this month, it will be equivalent to carrying 70 further acts in any other month. This is the month of patience whose reward is heaven. This is the month of sympathy and the believer's sustenance is increased in this month. In this month, the one who serves a fasting person with something to do iftar will be forgiven for his sins and his neck will be freed from the fire of hell. And he will be rewarded the same as the one who fasted without any reduction in the reward of the fasting person. The companions, radiallahu ta'ala anhum, asked humbly, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, not all of us possess enough money to present a meal to a fasting person for iftar. He sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam replied, Allah azza wa jal will give reward to the one who offers a sip of milk, a date or a sip of water to the fasting person and the one who serves the fasting person with a meal with which his stomach is full will be given water from my pond which is coarser such that he will never feel thirsty and will enter heaven. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal. The Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam further says the first 10 days of this month a mercy, the middle 10 days are forgiveness and the last 10 days are freedom from the fire of hell. One who treats his slave leniently in this month by not burdening him with heavy duties will be forgiven and freed from the fire of hell. In this month, there are four things which you should do in abundance. Two of them will earn the pleasure of Allah for you and you cannot do without the other two. The two which will earn you the pleasure of Allah are number one, I testify that there is none worthy of worship 
other than Allah Azza wa Jalla. And number two, to ask for forgiveness. The two which you cannot do without are, number one, to ask Allah Azza wa Jalla for heaven, and number two, to seek refuge of Allah Azza wa Jalla from hell. Dear viewers of Madani channel, this hadith describes the mercy, blessings, and glory of the holy month of Ramadan in great detail. In this month, we must take special efforts to please Allah Azza wa Jal by reciting the blessed kalma as many times as possible and by repenting in abundance. We must not neglect asking Allah Azza wa Jal for entrance into heaven and protection from hell. These are two things that we must continuously do. Allahu Akbar, how blessed Ramadan is. A renowned commentator of the Holy Quran, Mufti Ahmed Yarkhan Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayhi says, there are four names of this sacred month. Number one, Ramadan. Number two, the month of patience. Number three, the month of sympathy. Number four, the month of increased sustenance. Elaborating on the foregoing names, he Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayhi has further stated, fast is patience whose reward is Allah Azza wa Jal. As fast are observed in this month, it is called the month of patience. Sympathy means treating others well. This month is called the month of sympathy because the reward of behaving well and sympathizing with Muslims, especially relatives, is increased. In this month, sustenance is increased and even the poor enjoy the bounties of Allah Therefore, it is called the month of increased sustenance. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal, Sallu ala al Habib, Sallallahu Ta'ala ala Muhammad, Sallallahu Ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Madani channel, the blessings of Ramadan are unlimited and it is not possible to cover all of them in an episode. Inshallah, we'll continue listening to more blessings of Ramadan in the upcoming episodes. Let's move towards our next topic for today, which is the introduction of Ghasi Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala alayhi. Ghasi Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala was born on the first of Ramadan. So let's listen to an introduction of Ghasi Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala and a karamat of Ghasi Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala As the Ummah of the beloved Rasul Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi wa Alihi Wasallam is the best Ummah, in this Ummah there are a lot of great personalities. One of them is Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alaihi's house was the house of saints of Allah Azza wa His father, mother, maternal grandfather, paternal grandfather, paternal aunt, brother and sons were all saints of Allah Azza wa His maternal lineage was a Husseini and paternal lineage was Hassani. Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi was born in Jilan on the first day of Ramadan. The name of his mother is Ummul Khair Fatima and the name of his father was Sayyid Abu Saleh Musa Jangi Dost. On his blessed birth, a lot of remarkable incidents happened. At his birth, the age of his mother was 60 years when usually a woman cannot reproduce. The night on which Qasi Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala was born, all boys were born on that night and all became walis of Allah Azza wa Jal. Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jinani Rahmatullahi Ta'ala memorized the Holy Quran at a very early age. After the basic education in his city, Ghasi Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala was sent to Baghdad for acquiring religious knowledge from famous scholars of Baghdad. Sallu ala al-Habib, Sallallahu Ta'ala ala Muhammad, Sallallahu Ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Quoting Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Allama Imam Shi'arani Quddisa Siruhun Nurani has written in his book Tabqatul Kubra At the beginning, I faced many hardships. When those hardships reached their peak, I lay on the ground and kept reciting verses 5 and 6 of Surah Al Nashrah, which are as follows. Translation of Quran Kanzul Iman So, without doubt, there is ease with hardship. Without doubt, there is ease with hardship. Ghasi Azam Rahmatullahi Ta'ala says, By the blessing of these verses of the Holy Quran, all those difficulties were removed. 
Subhanallah Azza wa Jal. Dear viewers of Madani channel, surely one has to make sacrifices to achieve something. Our own Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi also made many sacrifices and struggled hard in order to attain the closeness of Allah Azza wa Jal. Qasi Azam rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi made many sacrifices to overcome his nafs and shaitan, remain safe from sins and distant from the love of this world, enjoin good and gain many rewards by preaching and thus bringing countless disbelievers into the fold of Islam. Although we cannot bear as many hardships as our Ghosi Paak rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi did, we can at least make a little effort without giving up hope. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Advising his disciples and devotees, Qasi Azam rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi said, Alhamdulillahi azza wa jal, I spent 25 years of my life in the jungles of Iraq. I managed to offer Isha and Fajr Salah with the same wuzu for 40 years. Similarly, I kept the routine of reciting the whole Quran for 15 years in Nafal Salah after Isha. At the beginning, I would fasten a rope around my waist and tie the other end of the rope to a hook on the wall so that I would not fall asleep. One night, when I intended to perform my usual worship, my nafs suggested that I take a little rest first and perform worship afterwards. At the very same moment, at the place where that thought occurred to me, I recited the whole Quran standing on one leg. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. O devotees of Ghasi Azam rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi, did you see how abundantly our Ghasi Azam rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi would perform worship? Allah Azza wa Jal forbid, we, if we are lazy in offering even five times prayers, how can we be able to justify our claim as being his devotees? Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Madani channel, Alhamdulillahi azza wa jal, the blessed month of Ramadan is amongst us. Try and gain as much benefit as possible from this opportunity. Try and spend as much time as possible in worshipping Allah azza wa jal, in reciting the Holy Quran, sending durood upon the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam in abundance. Spend as much time as possible in the masjid. Spend as much time as possible helping out other Muslims. Inshallah azza wa jal, this month is an opportunity for us. Try and gain as much benefit as possible and try and gain as many good deeds as possible in this precious time. That's it for today. Inshallah, Azawajal will be back with another episode. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Ramadan, Ramadan is the month of blessings and forgiveness. Ramadan is the month of blessings and forgiveness. Ramadan,